Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell slammed Senate Democrats for reaching a deal Wednesday to reform the tax code, warning it would, and I quote, hammer workers and kill many thousands of American jobs. Well, before getting into the details, welcome back to Next News Hour. If you're new to our channel, tap on the subscription button now and hit the notification bell. Mitch McConnell issued his statement in response to a deal announced by Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin that will raise $451 billion in tax revenue by setting a 15% corporate minimum tax, beefing up IRS enforcement of tax compliance, and closing the carriage interest loopholes on asset managers. McConnell tweeted, Democrats have already crushed American families with historic inflation. Now they want to pile on giant tax hikes that will hammer workers and kill many thousands of American jobs. First they kill your family's budget, now they want to kill your job too. McConnell was one of several Republicans to condemn the deal. Senator Lindsey Graham, the ranking member of the Budget Committee, took aim at Manchin and declared the deal made, and I quote, no sense. He said, he couldn't believe the state of Manchin is agreeing to a massive tax increase in the name of climate change when the economy is in a recession. Senator John Cornyn's office said Manchin flip-flopped on passing a major tax reform bill under the budget reconciliation process. The GOP senators issued their statements a few hours after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said he does not think the U.S. economy is currently in a recession. He said at a press conference, the reason is there are too many areas of the economy that are performing too well. The Schumer Mansion deal, dubbed the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, would raise $739 billion in revenue. In addition to the tax provisions, it would raise $288 billion from empowering Medicare to negotiate lower prescription drug prices. It would spend $369 billion on energy security and climate change programs and $64 billion to extend Affordable Care Act health insurance subsidies for three years through 2025. It would allocate more than $300 billion to reducing the deficit. President Biden highlighted the impact on the deficit in a statement Wednesday afternoon. Biden said in a statement, this bill will reduce the deficit beyond the record-setting $1.7 trillion in de deficit reduction we have already achieved this year, which will help fight inflation as well. The deficit has fallen this year as spending on COVID relief programs has fallen. We would like to know your thoughts about it. Share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.